Hey everyone, welcome to week. Cheers, Otter. Hey everyone. Quiet. I don't know if you can see him. Hey everyone, welcome to week three of my road to UTMB. I'm just on the Wales coastal path at the moment. It's a beautiful sunny day in Wales. Hard to beat. A few seabirds around. You might be able to hear them throughout the next few minutes. Got an oyster catcher over there, some fulmer on the cliffs floating about in the sea air. Just absolutely stunning day. So I've got, got some stats for you from the week prior for week three. Here we go. Um, distance I totaled 57.3 kilometers. So which is quite a big jump from the week prior. I actually added on 25.9 kilometers from last week, but um, I had always planned to do a big run at the end of January. From about October, November, I was planning to do a, a 50K um, self-supported run around um, St. Bride's Bay in Pembrokeshire. But unfortunately, because I was ill for three, four, three to four weeks in December, um, I canceled that and just knocked it down to a 30k run with a good friend um, trail running for life I'll link him somewhere here or in the description or at the end of the video that was a fantastic end to the week that was a 32k run so that was the longest run of the week most averaging about 6 to 8k but that was a, a huge run just felt great to do felt great the day felt great after it so I really can't complain really happy with it and I'm now talking to you from week four feeling really good after that long run so I'm glad I dropped it down but I'm still glad we attempted quite a bit of a distance um, in terms of elevation for the week because of that really long run everything just jumped up quite a bit we did um, 1664 meters so almost doubling the elevation from week two our kilometre effort, which I really like to look at because most of my running is on trails, on mountains and hills, um, was a 73 kilometre effort. So if, if you're unaware of what that is or you don't, you don't know what that is, just add your distance you've done in kilometres that week to your elevation and for every um, 100 kilometres, sorry, every uh, 100 metres of elevation you just add one so if I've done a thousand meters of elevation I'll add 10 so I did 1664 meters of elevation so I'll take the first two numbers 16 and I've added them to my 57 kilometer distance and I end up with a kilometer effort of 73 and it's more or less to do with um, the overall effort you've put in for that week in terms of distance because you may do a little bit less on trail you may do a little bit less because of hill reps or mountains but the overall effort is actually quite a bit more so it's a nice little thing to look at um, gates this week another jump because of the long run 56 gates and styles this week for any of you who are fans of gates and styles um, I've been working on a film for the past two years on and off that'll be coming out at the end of this year so keep an eye out there um, time on feet for week three it was a whopping eight hours and 13 minutes so I was up almost three hours from the week prior yeah that's right Otter it's having fun if you can see him um, my pace Actually, even though I did a quite a bit more distance, my pace was up a little bit, uh, 7 minutes 57 per kilometre, so almost half a minute faster per for every kilometre that I ran. Um, my heart rate and heart rate of max stayed absolutely the same. I made sure to stay on top of that for the week. I was really, really uh, focused on keeping that as low as I could. If you're interested, my max heart rate, I'm setting at 183. I know it's not a solid number we should work from. It's not something set in stone and it varies for everyone. And 
even from day to day, but it's just a, a rule of thumb I'm working off. Uh, flexibility, I did an hours of flexibility. So in that one hour, um, it was about three days worth, 20 minutes each day, just working on, on the legs really. Uh, ankle flexibility, calf, uh, hamstring and glutes flexibility mostly. I did, out of, that, out of that week I did five runs, which was the same as the previous few weeks, giving myself a couple of days off still throughout the week. And I've, I've already gone through my longest run of 32.4 kilometres, but um, you'll see that in the footage before this talk or after, depending on where I edit it in, and hopefully you enjoy the sights I saw. And, the seascapes we were running amongst. I was hoping whilst I was sat here I could see a seal but um, one hasn't arrived today. Just a few seabirds and a bit of a swell coming in from the Atlantic but there is a stunning seal shot you would have seen in, in the footage. So yeah there we go. Week three done. Uh, is that 10% on the way though? Uh, week three of week of 32 weeks. So we're getting there, still building, still trying to stay as easy as possible. Um, I'll continue that on throughout February, we're in February now, um, up until March, and then I'll start adding in a few other um, workout routines, running routines, and a bit of, a bit of difference in the running. But um, for now, just simple, easy miles. Thanks everyone for watching, um, if you've enjoyed this, please hit that subscribe button, like it, it means a lot, and um, it'll help for the future films I'm working on with other runners, and it means that more people will get to see them as well. Take care.